and welcome back to the Ratchet & Clank 3 Let's Play, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to go off to the Abani Draco, which is part of the Abani Moon System, the third one that was protected by a force field until Skid McMarks deactivated the force field. But, unfortunately, Skid's landed himself into trouble, so we're going to see if we can rescue him from Courtney Gears' clutches. This is this is a real troublesome moon. <sighs> so with that being said, let's get on with the next mission, shall we? Uh, with that being said, I've upgraded the the suck cannon to the vortex cannon, and unfortunately, we don't have any good weapons on offer, with the exception of this both the spitting hydra and the and. Uh, well, what can I say? They're not they're not really interesting to uh, they're not really that interesting. So to be fairly honest, we might as well destroy some robots to uh, get our help upgraded to so, so to get us up into the right frame of mind, the right mood to get up to to actually fight with Courtney Gears. Oh goodness gracious me! Poor skid marks. I hope we're not. He is tired by the time we get there. Right. I have to keep on jumping so I won't get hit by those fire balls that uh, that go through those channel through those through those things through those beams. Oh my goodness gracious me! We got the shock the cannon. Shock cannon can be charged up to release a spectacular beam of death. Hold the fire button to charge up the beam. Oh. So this is the charge. Charge cut the uh, the shock cannon. The shock cannon is pretty much the, is the upgrade to the shock blaster. However, the, it, uh, you can unleash, you can charge it up to unleash a huge beam of destruction. But at that time, it also sacrifices weapon energy as well. So you have to be conservative and be careful what you use it on, so so you don't get to waste it. Honestly, though, honestly, though, I'd rather upgrade all the weapons and get them all done for the final boss battle, for the uh, later boss bat bosses, which needs to get these, uh, which needs upgraded weapons in order to defeat them easier. Well, more upgraded. More, it's more advanced versions of the weapons. Ah, now we go up to another platforming. Oh, we got fireballs again. Now these are more fast, and those are more dangerous. So don't ever think about going and hitting those. Those cost about ten points of health as well. Oh, continue points. Is that where skip my box is? This is the testing laboratory for the bio obliterator. Bio obliterator. Let's see what Nefarious has been up to. Let's see. Whoa, like oh my I'm goodness gracious me! Stinky, Miss Gears. Don't you ever shut up? Uh, what are you working for, Doctor Nefarious? Anyway, Courtney. Uh oh. What's he doing? His crush. Destroy all squishies, dude. What? They turned Skid into a robot. But his uh, accent That's looks cooler that way, though. Not for Doctor <laughs> but I will say the that evilness is just bad. What the? We get to fight her. Sweet. I think you'll enjoy being a robot. Let's see if you can fight better than you. No subtitles. How lazy, Sony. Oh goodness gracious me! Now we have, of course, the. Uh, the instrumental version of the uh, we have the instrumental version of the song that Courtney was like singing. Oh my goodness, it's hit me, baby, one more time. The robotic edition, yes, again. We are now finally getting to fight her. I'm actually getting using the uh, oh goodness gracious me, I'm gonna try and see if I can get rid of those singers, the dancers as well. God, this me. Can't you see I'm trying to gather up weapon energy, weapon, weapon ammunition? Out of my way, ladies. I'm only going up against one woman alone, and that's Courtney. 
goodness gracious me, this is gonna get annoying pretty fast. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good reference to Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness gracious me, this is definitely probably one of the best boss fights in the game, honestly. You can actually destroy every pop star and the music itself is based off Oops, I did it again. No. No, actually hit me baby one more time. But she did actually reference Oops, I did it again. Well, unless she is voiced by um Britney Spears. I wouldn't say they actually got the rights for that. Honestly, that oh, I've nearly upgraded the uh, the nitro launcher. So, so hopefully we'll do it sometime in this part. I think upgrading the nitro launcher. Unfortunately, I cannot uh, get the. Uh, I've got no more ammo for. Ouch, that that's because you hit me. I was trying to hit you, Courtney. Don't you even dare go near me, you... You app. You absolute... You just... You untalentless singer. You sound like a... You sound like a shop assistant that's trying to look like Barbara Streisand. Apparently explosives make a flinch as well. This is pretty good. Am I going to get this done in all ammo? Come on, let me do it again. Yay! Oh, man, they can because they think you're an evil bystander. Disposable pop star. Disposable. <laughs> 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 uh, you okay, Transmission from the uh, well, let's get back to business. We located Nefarious' star cruiser. It's refueling at the Zeldrin starport. Cork is already on his way there. Oh. It might be a trap. I think Courtney Gears was setting us up. And that's Even the reason so, why. Be our only chance to stop Nefarious. That this is we'll the only the time we could actually agree with what come Squawk on, does. We'll come back for Skid later. What? You even Skid? Uh, like destroy all squishies and stuff. Oh goodness gracious me. Why is he pacing back and forth like a zombie? I mean seriously, Skid. Can't you do anything better with your life? Rather just participate in hotboard races? Like, why don't you go to rehab and change your life for the better? But well, anyway, since there's nothing else on the Barney Draco, we are going straight to the Zeldrin Starport. We're going to see Quark, but that will be done in later on because we've got an upgrade that we need to get. An upgrade that is definitely well, you know, essential for getting a lot of bot grinding for bolts to get more weapons and of course more. Welcome uh, to the Zelda Arm upgrades. So now, with that being said, but let's get this over to them, shall we? Time for it. Time for a bit of. But we go this way because there's two titanium bolts there. And of course, we got the upgrade that I'm, about, that I'm actually explaining to get to that. Eat Nitro Launcher! Assholes! Those bastards are not gonna, are gonna pay for shoot up a ride. What the hell? Whoa, it's. Oh, yes! Nitro Eruptor! Oh, you sons of bitches! Ugh. And that was my only chance of wanting to upgrade the uh, the Annihilator as well! Absolute assholes! Now, I'm furious! I'm well livid right now! Ugh. This is the one thing I don't like about this game, is that every if you get the... Uh, the jackpot crate and already and if you die that means you have it you can't get it back there's no way you can actually get it to respawn because you were because that's the only way you can actually get good experience the nitro disruptor is pretty much one of the best weapons in the game it's absolutely mighty powerful 
an absolute weapon of destruction that can absolutely obliterate all your enemies and solve a variety of your problems. Oops, I didn't have to do that. That was a mistake. But at least I managed to uh, get them. At least I've got a lot of cash. At least I've got a lot of cash. I'm gonna be using that for more armor upgrades. Oh come on! Get, get down and get out of here. Right, so I was trying to see what weapons I could use. Oh, oh crap. Meteor showers? What kind of meteor showers? Meteor showers that Nefarious has been able to uh, get down? Oh my god, that is so satisfying. Seeing a lot of robots obliterated by the Nitro Disruptor. What a fantastic day this has been for the Lombax. Lombax Kai needs a hero like Ratchet. And I'm really glad they've got one like him. Also, I have to say this right now. This is actually one of my favorite tunes of the game. It kind of sounds James Bondish. This kind of sounds secret agent ish. And it's absolutely brilliant just to hear. Concourse. The concourse level. Concourse will not be dis will be disappointed. Now, got this. Uh, these enemies are kind of the same enemies we got to. Uh, we got these enemies that we had to encounter at uh, at Panic Dax. Only except that we except they're a little tougher now that we've progressed through a part of the game. Pools of lava. I mean the ones that's uh, situated there. Come on, you robotic scum! Don't you want a taste of lava? Because you, because I bet you love the taste of it in your mouths. Right here we go. Here we go. Disintegrated and fine. Disintegrated and fine? Don't you mean that where if you actually dis 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 disintegrate them already, that means you won't be they won't be able to exist anymore. It's actually logical statements of that. There we go. It's nice to use the the raptor up there. Anyway, guess what? We're going off to this little thing. And booyah! We got the Bolt Grabber V2. The Bolt Grabber V2 not only increases your range, uh, increases your range of grabbing the bolts. You've also got the Box Breaker from Ratchet and Clank One as well, which I've just demonstrated. Breaks any nearby breakables, and of course you've also got, and you got also, and you could also break uh, boxes as well. Especially those, especially the special ones as well. But not the. Uh, this weapon upgrade. Uh, I know that already. Especially the. Uh, uh, but not the Inferno ones. <laughs> what, Scrunch? I thought we agreed to put that jungle business behind us. <laughs> what are you arguing with him? It was mating season. How could I have known she was your what? sister? What? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how long have Awkward you look from Ratchet. There? Too long. Well, <clears throat> stop lollygagging and let's get to work. Well, you're the one lollygagging, Quark. You're the one who's a bumbling imbecile. Board, we find the ferries and finish the job. You fellas ready? Well, we are ready, but not with you in tow. Ugh. Why? Shotgun. What shotgun? Hey, what are you doing? Move over. No, I'll you try. were not. Uh, no thanks. Oh, Sonic Adventure 2, like. Stand down, soldier. This is your captain speaking. Captain. Oh, don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't sit on the flight stage. Oh my goodness, great, just me. I gave God horribly wrong. <laughs> Once again, my brilliant plan has cut the enemy completely unaware. Oh, shh. 
Yes. <laughs> Are you trying to get it? And what's attention? What's that clink? Nothing. I was talking to Quark. To split up and search the ship. Just remember, nefarious is mine. Unless we get to him first. Which is what Ratchet wants to do. Payback for Skid. Anyway, with that being said, I'll. What's well, that whole thing is stop saving? Well, finish saving anyway. I'll see you guys next time for when we are going to be infiltrating the Star Cruiser and we'll find out another twist in this tale of events. So, with that being said, I'll see you guys in part 13 of the Ratchet and Clank 3 Let's Play.